<clears throat> good, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another reading of the Bible. We are in Acts chapter 6. Acts 6. In those days when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews because the widows were neglected in the daily min ministration. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them, and say, saying, it is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve tables. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honor's report, full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. The same pleased the whole multitude, and it chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Ghost, Philip, and Pro Procurus, and Nicanor, Timon, Parm Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch, whom they set before the apostles, and when they had prayed, they laid their hands on them. The word of the Lord increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied in Jerusalem greatly, greatly, and a great company of the priests were obedient to the faith. Stephen, full of faith and power, did great wonders and miracles among the people. There then there arose certain of the synagogue, synagogue which is called the synagogue of the Libertines, the Cyrenians, the Alexandrians, and of the Cilicia and of Asia, disputing with Stephen. They were not, <clears throat> excuse me, they were not able to resist the wisdom and the spirit by which he spake. Then they, then they suborned, then they suborned men. Verse eleven, suborned men. Uh, let's see, suborned. Bri that, that's a better word. Then they bribed men who said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. They stirred up the people and the elders and the, the elders, the scribes, and came upon him that Stephen and caught him and brought him to the council, setting up false witnesses which, who said, This man ceases not to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth shall destroy this place and shall change the custom, customs which Moses delivered us. All who sat in the council, looking steadfastly on him, saw his face, that's Stephen's face, as it had been the face of an angel. That's Acts chapter 6. <clears throat> 